Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Back to Basics. Uh, in today's episode, I believe we're going to cover a, a little bit of the enchanting realm and then we also will be going um, back to the nether and looking through the nether fortress. Uh, I hope you guys are excited for a good time today because, uh, yeah, I mean it was pretty eventful. But first, uh, I need to remind you guys that last episode I did do a lot of building in our home. Uh, as you can see, if I come on over here, I know this is not a big one, but we have our now wheat farm completely full. I did take care of that, so now we have some food to go to the nether. Um, oh, zombie. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, I made that, and then there's quite a bit uh, more more changes that I've made to the home. Uh, some very cool stuff, though. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, first of all, I, I kind of changed up the entrance. If you can't tell, uh, I put I put some cobblestone along the sides of the stairs. You know, makes it a little bit more clean. Uh, I'll try to show it from a distance. Uh, let me go ahead and cut that in. Uh, I should, it should just overlay, uh, and then as we, uh, we come back in here now, uh, you can see here we have a new room on our left. Now this will be our enchanting room, and now because enchantment tables take, uh, you need 15 to fully enchant things at level 30, we'll have, uh, 2 by 3 here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that's 11, plus another 5 on this side, so that makes 16, uh, 16 bookshelves for our enchantment table, and our enchantment table will sit right in the middle right there. Um, that's why I didn't bother filling those in, is because that's all going to be covered by bookshelves. Uh, I believe when you make bookshelves, they can be made with different types of woods now, so that they are different colors, so we will be doing that as well, and we'll match this wood on the sides. Uh, as you can see, I went with the temple theme here uh, a little bit. I, I, I kind of like it with the chiseled stone and everything. Uh, as you can see, I made the floor kind of a pathway uh, to lead us to all the separate parts of the underground area. Uh, this is our mine, if you guys remember that we had this mine here. I put this trap, trap door here so we can stand on it and then go ahead and open it up and fall all the way down. I won't do that so I don't waste our time. But it's so that I don't I don't accidentally walk over it and accidentally fall in um, and, and fall down into the mine and then have to climb all the way back up because I was doing it quite a few times when I was building. Uh, as you can see, I did do that vaulted ceiling that I was talking about. It looks looks very nice and clean now. Um, uh, you can see our nether portal is no longer lit. Unfortunately, I ran into a creeper, and he went ahead and extinguished that for us. So we're going to have to relight that before we head on back. Uh, this is the back area. Uh, it ended up looking very nice. I still don't know what we're going to put back here, but it will probably end up being pretty cool. Because uh, I was going to do the enchantment area, but then it was it was too cramped, and so I made this nice new room. And I like this because you can't even tell the room's here because of the way this mountain works. You can't even tell that room's there. You can't even tell that any of this is really here because of how the mountain works, which is really cool. It's like a covert kind of place. Um, and I know that we're going to go with a more of a castle theme for the house. So there are some expansions that I am going to want to do. Um, and trust me, it'll it'll be so you can see it. But for right now, we're just kind of doing this hidden cave thing. Now, this is the balcony that I was talking about. I went ahead and did um, red stained glass and with a torch under it to light it up. I also lit it up here, and I made it so that creepers and, and zombies and stuff hopefully won't be able to jump on in from behind us with all this fencing out here. Uh, I'll go ahead and lay over a um, lay, lay over an image right now of what it looks out from the outside, maybe a little bit further away, a little pan over, a little, little nice stuff like that for you guys. So you can see what it looks like from there. Um, okay, so next, I, I was talking about us working on this enchantment table stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the beach here. Um, and we are going to go ahead and make ourselves a boat, as usual. And we're going to go over to the cows, because the first step of the things we need for enchanting is leather. And leather can be, uh, can be gotten two ways. Uh, one is from our cows. Our cows drop leather. Uh, the other one is if you use rabbit, uh, rabbit hide. So the, the, the rabbits will drop hide, and then you need to do a two by two pattern, and you can create the, um, you can create the leather. Let's go ahead and breed a bunch of them here, just so that the ones we kill, it's not, not as bad. <laughs> and we bred four new cows, so we'll kill, what it, I don't, I don't think we killed them last time because we were waiting for all the babies to grow up, so. We don't need a ton of cows either. Come on. There we go. Okay. Oop, oop. I hit two separate ones. We, you got to, like, make sure you hit the same ones or else... I don't know. It just... It bothers me. I don't know where that other one went. Uh, that should be fine, actually. We'll, we'll go ahead and go with nine books for now. 
or, or nine pieces of leather. I think we have more leather in the house, so we'll probably end up with more books than that. Now let's go back to the house, uh, and as you can see on the left here, I did set up a sugarcane farm um, because I knew that I, I had anticipated that we were going to be doing this. Uh, unfortunately, it hasn't had much time to grow really, um, but I'm sure that it will eventually. We'll go ahead and break what we can here, and we're not going to replant obviously because we have enough going that hopefully that happens fast enough. Now when you make uh, paper. It is a three long pattern like you would if you were making slabs. So you get three pieces of paper and then with those three pieces of paper, I think you need to lay them out all separately and then it should be one piece of leather and you get a single book. Now each bookcase is three books with uh, six planks on either side. I, I'm sure I'll show you the recipe further down the road. I would not worry about that. We'll go into our naturals chest. We do have more leather as I suspected, um, but we do not have more sugar cane or anything like that. Um, so we're gonna have to hold out on that. Hopefully, we can get we can get uh, that sugarcane harvested. I'll do that off of uh, episodes so that we definitely can get uh, that kind of thing going. Okay, and the next thing, remember, I said we were gonna go to the Nether and we're gonna go check out that Nether Nether fortress that we had found before. Remember, we left. Um, a pretty easy trail to follow back hopefully you can see that I gave myself a new sword and a new pickaxe because I knew that we were gonna go and we don't want to be caught out there oh I need to grab the flint which is in the sand chest with it there we go and now because our flint and coal remember we left in the nether so that we could get back if, if it ever got uh, un unlit there so it's okay though because we'd rather have it on that side now the thing with nether portals uh, obviously you can see by the way I, I don't think I mentioned this that uh, the nether portals just kind of hanging out here kind of looks ugly kind of looks blocky out of place um, it's supposed to uh, right now because I'm not sure really what I want to do with decorating it and if you guys have a suggestion for it please leave it in the comment section down below um, but yeah, I, I was thinking about giving another theme. I was, uh, I think somebody suggested a quartz, a quartz theme, like you know, take another quartz, lay it on the floor around here and stuff, which I think would be really cool. I just, I don't have a specific way to do it in my head yet, so I don't think we're going to. Let's go ahead and light this guy and get on in here while I keep talking. Yeah, so um, I think we're gonna use a combination of like nether brick and the quartz and stuff. Oh hey, I got an achievement. Why did I get an achievement this time? But I, I hadn't gotten it before. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and look at the achievement then. Oh, wrong one. Uh, achievements. And we need to go deeper is... Oh, it's because we didn't have diamonds before. Okay. So, yeah, we got our... We need to go deeper right here. Uh, build a, a portal to the nether, even though we had already gotten it. We had kind of gone to acquire high hardware and then just straight ahead cut across. Um, but we do have the diamonds. Uh... We, I still don't know what we're going to do about that one. But we're, are work, we are working on the enchantment thing, but before we do the enchantment thing, we need to make an uh, a diamond pickaxe in order to pick up some obsidian. So, uh, yeah, there's a few steps to still do there. We're also making the bookshelf. So I, maybe we should hold out to make our bookshelves. Like We'll just collect all the materials so that we get the achievements, though. Um, yeah, so let's go, ahead and, let's go ahead and take a look around. Oop! in here. I don't know why I picked this stuff up. Uh, did I, 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 I accidentally kept the raw beef for this. Now, there's another thing you guys gotta see. Uh, the compass and the clock go a little bit crazy in the nether. I don't think I showed this off last time. Um, it's because there's no real way home. or You know what I mean? Like, in the nether. Okay, and then so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna go ahead and check our coordinates so that I don't get lost when we go over there. So we're at about 20... 2055. I can remember that. That's not a big deal. So 2055, we'll be able to come on back. I pressed F3 for that. If you guys didn't know about that already, it's like one of the oldest tricks in the book. Um, now we're going to go over here because I believe that it was this totem pole that we made that we need to go to. Um, remember, we kind of left ourselves a little bit of a trail. So let's go ahead and jump on up here. It is the one we need to go to because we put the cobblestone bottom. And then we need to go over to that one, correct? Yes, I believe so, because that's the only one I see. Gotta be careful here. Don't know, uh... You know, I don't want to fall to our death. Okay, I, I heard uh, a bad guy there. No problem. So, yeah. Um, we're gonna look in this fortress. I don't know if we're gonna find anything super cool. But, uh, you never know, because we do want to find some nether wart. So, hopefully, eventually, we can get into the potion-making aspect of this game. And here's our, here's our kind of kind of awkward arrow that leads us over this cliff here that we made. Uh, so that we can... Go ahead and get over there. Put out this fire so I don't get accidentally hit by it. Oh, missed that jump. Okay, I hear something like over this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and eat up first. Just so we don't get 
absolutely murdered. Hello? See, right there, that's what I'm talking about. Did you, if you heard that, it's like, Ricky. That stuff scares me, dude. I get freaked out. And then we got burpers over here. See, and the nether fortress is right down here, I believe. Oh yeah, that's right. We did we did a really really awkward job of getting up last time. So first we gotta go down there, but at least we know we gotta go back up there too. We should bring ladders and stuff and make this like a, a legitimate a legitimate way in and out. But we can just do this for now. Hopefully I can carve this out so that it becomes a an easy way up and down like a staircase. Right? Yes. Good. Okay. And then we'll just whatever. I know, I know I didn't need to do all that, but it's nice. Because then we'll have it for um, when we want to come back. We don't have to build a pole right there. Now it's just around our corner here, and it should be down to the left still, correct? Yes, I remember correctly. Okay, awesome. So I did not bring uh, some cobblestone like I usually do so that it doesn't, so our bridges don't get blown up, like if we're bridging over to something. Okay, and uh, if you can't see that right there, that would be a blaze spawner. Um... We're going to have to take care of that. But yeah, I usually make my bridges out of cobblestone because then they can't be blown up by ghasts. Uh, I believe I've, I've said that tidbit of information before. We're also going to have to block that off. Okay. So we're just going to take our time. Now, I'm going to bridge over even though we don't really need to. Sorry, I like... I, I'm just... I'm so captivated by what's going on because I don't want to accidentally make a mistake here and just die for no reason. Um... There we go, and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and... There we go, and now it's not going to fall inside, hopefully, anymore. Woo! Woo! Scary stuff. Okay, what else? What can we do? Oh, there's a staircase here. Good. Okay, now this should... Yeah, this should empty out. I'm just going to keep our sword out just to be safe here. Nice. You know what we didn't bring that I sh totally should have brought with us? Torches. A lot of blaze around here. Not a lot of wither skeletons, so that's not bad. Okay, now we got it. They, these guys fire uh, fireballs, and they will kill us with them if we don't kill them first. Let's go ahead and take down the spawner. <sighs> okay, good. So now we can't get killed by this one. I know that a lot of people like to keep blaze spawners for... Um, for ways to farm experience, but it's not the best choice for us currently. Like I'm sure, I'm sure, obviously, maybe further down the road it will be a good idea. And there's another spawner that I just activated over there. Hopefully, they don't follow us too far over here. Ah, no, no, no! Please, no. Okay, okay. So they still see us. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna step back here, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna. I know this is gonna seem kind of goofy, but we're gonna make these guys, and then we're gonna. Just do this, and then we'll know that this is the way out. That's how we get out, is that one right there. Hopefully remember that. Now let's go ahead and take a look around in under here. This is awesome. Look how big this place is. This is absolutely insane. Okay, so I think this bridge just ends here, which is fine. But yeah, so this is another fortress. Another fortress is they have a, a random layout, just like everything else in the game. There's not one specific thing. It's not like a... Um, a jungle temple or anything they just kind of have they're they're coded to be here and then their their layout is absolutely random let's go ahead and go up the stairs so remember we got to go down, back down the stairs if we want to go down okay is this just a dead end yeah it looks like a dead end okay good to know we're just gonna take a quick shortcut not not much damage taken and then ooh, careful don't want to just run out <laughs> Um, yeah, and we'll go back. Okay, so this is so awesome. And we get uh, another brick fence as well. I can't believe we've got a blaze rod. That is super cool. We can, because that, that's, that's what you need to start your potion making even. Uh, and we'll have to have a potion making room. Maybe we'll make that back room behind the stairs the potion making room. Okay, so they seem to be starting to team up on us. And there's a wither skeleton over there. And there's a lot of things over there. So stop throwing stuff at us, please. No, no, no. Okay, so we're going to put out some fires as we go. No, 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 no. Ow, 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 Okay. They're not firing at us anymore. They might light our wood on fire, though. Please, no. Please, no. We're firemen. Yay. Come on, come on, come on. 
Oh, we got a weather, weather skeleton on us too. Wither skeletons, I don't know if you know this, but wither skeletons drop these things called wither skulls, and then if you have three of them and make a correct pattern with soul sand, you get a wither skeleton boss. Now those things, you kill them, you get a nether star, whole bunch of stuff. Um, I know it's a lot of information very quickly, but it if if I ever I should say when we when we travel into that, um, you, you will be amazed on on how important finding those wither skeletons are. Oh, okay, so this right here is soul sand. Soul sand can be shoveled faster. Oop, and we lost the only piece that we had access to. Uh, it can be shoveled faster using, or it can be picked up faster using a shovel. Uh, it has the same effects as sand and gravel, except it does not have a gravity problem, um, like sand and gravel will. Uh, it, it slows the player down when walked on, uh, just like the opposite of ice, because ice speeds up the player when it's walked on. Okay, so this is... This is just absolutely scary. Okay, so what's gonna happen is now we're gonna we're gonna head back home. Um, I think it, it, we did well. I'm leaving that spawner up in case somebody somebody knows a really great way to make a spawner that I'm not gonna die a thousand times to. That that would be cool because then we could get the experience for enchanting and things, and that, and that would be nice because then we 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 could. We could have really strong stuff, so when we fight other things, we don't die. Sorry for sorry for talking so weird. It's just I don't want to die, and I'm super worried about it now. Wow, they are coming out of everywhere. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try to make it. Look at all the wither skeletons. Oh my gosh, we got it. We gotta come back. I don't know. Well, maybe when we're a little bit more fortified, because right now I don't think we are. Uh, we are in the safest position as far as. Um, gear goes even though we do have full iron and iron swords uh, I think I think with with some enchanted iron like things that will make it so that we don't start on fire and stuff um, we will be I'll be a lot more comfortable coming on back but it was cool to have a look around there we, we, we saw some things I was hoping we'd find some nether wart we did not fully uh, travel it so hopefully maybe we can find some nether wart next time you know next time we come out here um, so wait that's that pillar and then the, this pillar leads where it leads down here right sorry I know I know that that it likes we just came from here but okay and there's our other pillars okay we're good so yeah um, I hope you guys like what I did the house if you have any more suggestions please leave in the comment section below uh, I do plan on giving ourselves a banner I don't know what our pattern for our banner will be yet uh, if you have uh, like cool ideas just go and throw them out like you know colors patterns all that kind of stuff if you understand how banners work already if you don't don't worry about it uh, I will do my best to explain the majority of it um, and yeah if you guys enjoyed the video please remember to hit that like button if you're new to the channel please don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button if you like what you watched uh, on today's episode um, yeah if you if, if you haven't already maybe tell your friends about me maybe spread the word that I uh, my channel exists and everything um, yeah and I, I hope you guys I hope you guys had a good time today I'll see you later